I wanted to do a little art piece and before I start I wanted to model to see if I can model it in uh, in FreeCAD and it turned out pretty well I think and interesting so here's how it was made so I'm new to free FreeCAD, just installed it yesterday, but I, I love what I see so far. There might be some way to do it easier, but this is how I do it. Uh, this would be the bottom. inside the point make it um, no not this one make the radius of say 2 that's it all constrained so close that's the bottom so just make another one in the same plane. No, sorry. Need to do it from here. So another one in the same plane. Another circle. This one a little bigger. that bigger one a little higher this is where the rods would be attached and the interesting part is um, after they are attached I can move or change the size or change the number of them or change the angle of rotation and they would follow so it's all dynamic you'll see in a second let's save it just in case it actually crashed on me once so okay then let's make another and this so I'll rename them so this will be bottom so to give that rod a direction I make a bottom plane from from this point to this point this point so now that it's attached the interesting part is this I can take this top sketch rotate it any number of degrees even if it's and the datum line is rotating alongside with, uh, with the sketch so now all I need to do is um, make a theorem plane that's attached to that line so I'll use the first reference would be the line itself and the second reference would be that vertex no didn't work I guess I missed the rear vertex. Let's give it a 
another try. So the datum plane, first the line, then the vertex. All right, okay. So it needs to be a different different attachment method, normal to edge. Okay. So there is now a plane that's attached to the datum line, and it depends on uh, entirely depends on the top sketch. So if the top sketch rotates the plane would rotate with it to keep the orientation so now if I do select this plane and do another sketch on it it's very simple another circle coincide the points change the radius close so now we have a sketch that's, at, that's attached to the plane and if I extrude it we get this nice road and again it's still attached to this whole structure so if I go here, change it to like negative 20, whatever, and refresh, now that road goes to a different direction. So now the only thing that's left, for some reason, they need to be tied to a solid. So what I do is I, I get this bottom, uh, this, this actually took me a little, a little while to figure out, so that's kind of an important part. So take the, that bottom, which, oh, I mixed them. So this one is the top. This is the top. This is the bottom. So yeah, so that that the, f the fact that I it needs to needs a solid to tie them all together at the bottom took me a while to figure out, but the way I do it is I just take this sketch and make it a pad. Let's say symmetric to plane. 0.5. Okay. So now we have this road and to make this interesting artsy shape out of it all it takes is just selecting that path that let's rename it so I don't confuse it road so getting this road getting a polar symmetry feature Add the road to it. It needs to go along Z axis and now just set how many we want of them. Say ten. And that is about it. Now see what happens if I rotate the top sketch. Voila. All dynamic. I can change the radius. To something crazy like 10. And it's still going to work. Uh, 
I can even change the number of elements so it will here reduce it to 8 and there we go I think that's pretty neat, I, li I like how FreeCAD is doing it everything is dependent on each, any, every other element so in the end it's fully dynamic structure hope you enjoy it make something fun